too, like me, doesn't like the cold weather, but the best way to get around that is to get off to a hot start, guys. And eluding the rush, Braden Galloway in the clear. Lawrence got it to him after nifty sidestep of traffic. Devin Taylor saves a touchdown. Pressure from out here, and the linebacker lines up with ETN. Nobody's there to pick Galloway up up the middle. See the pressure. Of course, the field goal attempt from BT Potter. And Potter, very reliable for short range, knocks it through. Two tight ends motion over on this first down play. Burmeister steps up and delivers. Wide open downfield catch made by Tavian Robinson. Makes a move, still running down inside the five. A bust for the Tigers. He was wide open. In a busting coverage. Watch this Clemson defense. Nobody in the left flat. A lot of eyes on the quarterback. A lot of anticipation, a potential run, but I think they got confused with a lot of movement with the tight ends, and they just busted coverage there, and give Burmeister credit. You've got to find the end zone if you want to pull the upset of Clemson. Herbert picks his way, and Waltz is in, scores standing up. What a drive from this Hokie offense as Burmeister comes in and sparks them. Look how they open this up on the left side. Blocked there by Mitchell. Dershaw, who's one of the top tackles, I think, not only in the ACC, but as a young sophomore, one of the top. Goodness. As if we didn't get enough rain <laughs> last night. Uh, you know what? What's going on here, boys? It's 2020, Kirk. Okay, yeah. Okie okay players are, are jumping around, I, I guess, as acting like a little kid, and they'll, they'll, they'll stop at nothing to try to slow Clemson's offense down here. Extremely undersized, but they're athletic and they're active. Here's a keeper for Lawrence, gets a block, makes a cut, and scores standing up. Davis Allen paved the way as Lawrence rumbles in for his fifth rushing touchdown. That's the thing about Trevor Lawrence, man. They, that, they're, they're figuring it out based on 38. If 38 stays wide, he'll hand it off. So they really don't know who's going to get the ball while they're in that mesh point until they make the read on which way 38 commits. Also bringing the fight, which after three straight losses, we're not, we weren't guaranteed to see that. Herbert brings the fight. He stepped out of bounds. We're cutting back. But the gain is to the Tigers 25, and the Hokies are threatening again. To tie the game. Drives it. It's low, and it's good from 55. Brian Johnson equals his career long, and Tech has drawn even with the Tigers. Ten apiece. They lost by 33 to the same Pittsburgh team that Clemson beat by 35 a week ago. So you, the comparison score, that's a 68-point swing. The opportunity to try to get better in some way. It's paid off for him. Prepares like a pro. It's Dixon breaking tackles and banging around, spun down finally inside the Hokies 20 by Taylor. Only 3.6 per carry. It has been a quiet year for the backup tailback. He's got it again. He's got a crease again. Makes a cut, spins, fights, and scores. Back-to-back -back big plays by Lynn J. Dixon, and the Tigers are back on top. Make a tackle. That's a tough thing to do. Watch this little move right there. That's a tough play and a tough tough thing to do for a safety in open space. Been on the sidelines next to Brent Venables the rest of the first half. Herbert breaks free in the clear. Hold your breath, Clemson fans. And now perhaps they'll get a little more urgent. They got two seconds to throw it to the end zone. Now four for Burmeister as he tries to heave it to the end zone. Does have the wind in his back. Will he be able to set his feet? Yes, barely. Launches into traffic, and it is caught! Off the carom, but is he in? Off the carom, the catch was made, but not getting into the end zone, and that's where the first half will end. Well, the, the hands of Amari Rogers down here are always reliable slot right is Rogers Lawrence looking across the middle and throws an interception right into the hands of Diablo and he just puts a knee down as the Hokies get an enormous defensive stand to stay within seven Diablo is starting his 34th game watch him read the eyes he comes out of his position he's supposed to be here but instead he looks at Trevor Lawrence takes a chance comes over and helps out he's not supposed to be there called Diablo coach on the field that's how savvy he is and up in the round here and it's balls out ball came loose Clemson recovers at the 13 yard line Mario Goodrich fell on the football 98 right there see his hand on the ball 
See if he rips it out. Yep, knocks it out right there before the knee touches. It's on the ground. And now you got Clemson all over that. He's got it again, and he's going to score for a second time as a runner. Trevor Lawrence keeps it and barrels in. Getting out here, and because he's long on that ride, it gives him more time to get an idea, an indicator of whether or not they're collapsing down. It's the progressive pylon cam where he... Yeah, I think it just started, you know, when, when COVID first hit. This team's just got a lot of grit. You know, we didn't even know if we were going to play. And, uh, you know, this team just never shot away. We're back. We told you Burmeister headed to the locker room. He fumbles his snap, coming in cold, and it's scooped up. Kendrick with a convoy. And they chase him down. He gets to the end zone. A scoop and score for Clemson. 68 yards and a crushing turnover. Trying to get a feel for what might be happening here this time. He's just not able to handle the ball. He tries to recover it, gets hit, kept the ball free, and then Kendrick with the speed picks it up and takes it all the way to the end zone for the touchdown. Burmeister hurt himself on the fumble that Clemson recovered and, and cashed in a short time ago. No, he, Hot he, potato on a cold night. Anyway, he, not just cold, he's been... And able to go yeah. again. Tatum carrying all the way, runs right into the teeth of that Tigers pursuit, and they knock him down for a loss. On fourth down, Tatum tries to make a play, rolls in the direction that he's got three receivers, escapes the rush for now, and not for long. He'll be knocked down, sacked on fourth down, chased down by Avante Bentley. That's what you're going to have to figure out as a voter. Another downfield shot is Powell again. This time, no interference, no drop. Touchdown, Tigers, as they do plunge the knife in to the Hokies That's with a deep there. shot. And Powell, after a quiet start, makes an electric play deep in the fourth quarter. The 100 yard game. No Tiger receiver has ever done that. and scoots for a first down across the 45. Very important game for Virginia Tech here. That throw wasn't one of his finest. And now he's pressured, immediately dumps it down. And there's a big play on the sidelines. And Holston still going. Thought he was going to get knocked out of bounds. Stayed alive and is knocked out inside the 10-yard line. It does their job. And how about Kadem waiting to the last possible second until he got rid of this football? You know, it, it, he stayed in bounds all the way until the very end of this play when he finally gets pushed out. So the play clock is reset. We're good to go. Olsen's got the football. And he's wrestled down, lost the football. Still lose. It looks like the Tigers have recovered. Is that Pinkney at the bottom of the pile? Yeah, he had made the huge play on the catch to set him up. With the mistakes. A lot of miscues have cost them tonight, especially when they've had opportunities to have game-changing possessions. This one, of course, is out of reach at this point, but another costly mistake. It's the score points or backed up, giving Clemson a very short field. Chesma Lucy, fresh legs firing, and the former four-star recruit who hasn't had a whole lot of opportunities so far with the Tigers. Again, a guy this year, much like we talked about with Dixon, only 23 carries on the season, but gives you an idea of what he can do. The win against Boston College, the double OT loss in Notre Dame when Lawrence was out. 400-yard game against the Irish, and boom, there he goes. Why not bring in Darian Rencher and let him get a touch and a touchdown? First time he has the football in his hands. It's a house call for Rencher, the senior from Anderson, South Carolina, just up the road from the camp. Caught him off guard. And this is a moment that uh, caught us off guard, too. Into the clear and all the way to the end zone. I, you talk about a lot of aspects, Kirk, of this Clemson program that you obviously know very well with your I'll win that game and the conference yeah. championship to get in the playoff. It may not be for Notre Dame. We'll talk I, a lot more about that. Yeah, I think, I think Notre Dame loses. And they're still in a really good spot to, uh, to be in the, in the floor. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.